What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRite. Today, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of the Galaxy A72. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hope everyone is in good health. We have the Galaxy A72 right here. We're gonna go over a few pros and cons on this device in this video. So if you guys do wanna see more content on this device, definitely hit the notification bell down below and subscribe to the TechRite channel. But starting off with our first pro, we have excellent battery life on this device. It seems like I can get through a full day and then in the morning when I wake up, I can have about 20 to 30% battery life on this device. So great to see that on this device, we have a 5,000 milliamp battery in here, and this is definitely going to be a good thing to have, especially for a phone that is 6.7 inches, 0.2 inches bigger than its little brother, the Galaxy A52, because you're gonna need that battery life for a display that's super huge, as well as 90 hertz. So it's great to see that we have a big battery in here. And the ironic thing about the battery is it makes this feel a little bit more premium, but with that heavy feel. So it's great to have that feel on this device as well. All right, everyone, so the second pro is gonna be that this device has some very, very strong performance with the Snapdragon 720G. No, we don't have the 750G processor in here, like the A52 5G, which is, Kind of sad, uh, but the 720G definitely gives you some great performance on this device mixed in with that 90 hertz display. You guys are gonna have a good time gaming, watching movies and videos, and you guys can have plenty of tabs open and still have this phone running pretty decently. So the processor in here so far is very, very adequate. Third pro definitely has to be that this has a beautiful display on here. Obviously 6.7 inches full HD, and this is gonna be a super AMOLED display. Uh, with a 90 hertz refresh rate. So you guys are going to have a very, very good time watching movies, playing video games and all that. Uh, the screen is super punchy, super vivid, and Samsung, I feel like, does it best with their mid-range and budget phones. I feel like they're very, very good at this, uh, and they tend to have the best screens in the game. Fourth pro has to be that this has stereo speakers, and they're very, very good. Uh, very enhanced listening experience when playing video games and watching movies. I'm so glad that they put that extra speaker in the headset because I was kind of worried that they weren't going to do that. So very clear, very loud speakers on the A72. Um, and can't really ask for much more than that, especially at this price. All right, everyone, so the fifth pro definitely has to be the main camera and its optical image stabilization. I've been using this camera every single day, taking sample photos. Absolutely love this camera so far, but the image stabilization is very good. We have a very quick shutter speed on this device as well, so you guys are gonna be able to get those quick shots in and you guys aren't going to have to sacrifice any of the quality. So love the image stabilization on here. Very good so far. Now getting into the cons of the Galaxy A72, the dreaded cons. We don't have five cons like we did for the pros. We only have about four, but we're gonna go over those right now. And this may be a little bit nitpicky, so hopefully not too many people get mad, but this is my experience with the phone so far, and this is what I feel like it should have had. So for our first con, it didn't include a higher refresh rate than the Galaxy A52 5G. Now going from the A52 to the A72, I felt like it should have had a bit more you know, of a spec boost, you know, we probably should have had the 750G in here, but I feel like this should have had the 120 hertz display, especially since you're paying much more than the Galaxy A52 costs. Um, but I was just hoping for that higher refresh rate that we get in the A52 5G. Second con definitely has to be that this doesn't have the Snapdragon 750G, just like I said before. I felt like that was a big reason for me because it it's kind of weird. It's like you have an A52, then you have an A72, which is the bigger brother, and then you have the A52 5G, which I guess is their more premium handset. So I'm kind of suspicious right now. I feel like the A72 is going to be released in a 5G variant uh, that has a 120 hertz display and the Snapdragon 750G, but I was hoping to get this on the regular A72. All right, everyone, so our third con is gonna be it only comes with a 15 watt fast charger. So this device is rated at 25 watt fast charging and it looks like we only have about a 15 watt fast charger in here. So kind of sucks that they didn't put that in the box with this device, but you can't always get what you want in seems. And I feel like a ton of other companies do this as well, but I feel like people would have a much better experience if they had that in the box straight out of the gates. So just a little annoyance right there. So you guys either have to buy one or use one that you already have. And the fourth con is that this has a hybrid card slot. 
So you kind of have to pick and choose between micro SD card expansion and dual SIM capabilities. And I feel like there's a demographic of people who definitely need both. So kind of sucks that we don't have that dual SIM capability and that extra slot for the micro SD card. Um, it's not an annoyance to me personally, but I feel like a lot of people are going to complain about that. But for most people, I feel like you're fine. You know, you have 128 gigabytes of internal storage on here. I actually got the 256 gigabyte variant on here. So, you know, I feel like most people are gonna be fine. But for the people that need a lot of storage on their device and they want dual SIM compatibility, um, that's kind of gonna be an annoyance, especially for those people that travel constantly for business and work. So hopefully they fix this later on in their next iteration of the A72. So yeah, guys, not too many cons about this phone. Honestly, I'm really, really enjoying this device so far, and I think it's one of the best mid-rangers, if not the best mid-ranger uh, that Samsung has came out with. So really enjoying this device, really enjoying the A52. But if this video did help you out, you did enjoy it, definitely hit that like button as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already. Also, hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.